to 1 p.m. case, Anthony J. Lombardi, Andrew Rosenthal, and John Carrier, TNA Incorporated, trading at Shuckers of Bells Point, 1629 Dane Street, Class B, beer, wine, and liquor license. Violation of Rule 4.18, licensee does not have 2012 trader license as required by Business Regulation Article of Annotated Code in Maryland, 17-1804. Violation of Rule 4.18, Corporate charter forfeited by the Maryland Department of Assessment and Taxation. And by testifying, please step forward and raise your right hand. I swear or affirm that this man is about to give the truth of all the truth. Yes, I do. For the record, Melvin J. Kanensky representing the licensee. Uh, this is, uh, you can see this there. This was a situation in which um, early um, or late last year, um, Mr. Lombardi and his partner came to me and, and uh, they were having some financial difficulties, so I recommended to go see Mr. Uh, Bob Scarlett to file a bankruptcy. Uh, what Mr. Scarlett was able to do, however, was able to do a workout with the controller's office, and the workout has been uh, just being put into place. Uh, here's copies of the, I don't have the executed ones because they're at the controller's office. And uh, what the controller's office is doing is taking direct payments out. Here's a copy of the First couple they're taken out in uh, January, I think it's 5,000 or whatever it is. Um, on that basis, they're going to um, work at, uh, an arrangement out where within the next um, 45 days or so, they're going to uh, allow the licenses to be released uh, pending this, the payment plan being uh, continued. And you're telling me this was for unpaid sales tax? Sales tax, and, and, uh, and they wouldn't let them do the tangible for the same reason, because when they're outstanding. We'll give you a name and address for the record, please. Uh, Anthony Joseph Lombardi, 1629 yeah. Thames Street, Baltimore, Maryland, 21231. Was that the information that I gave? Was that correct when you met with Mr. Scarlett? Yes. And they're taking, they're taking direct payments out at this point? Correct. So the $5,300 per month that the comptroller's office is taking out of your account, is that for back sales tax? Correct. So why were they taking 3700 amount? A 3700 amount a month out before. Prior to that, we we owed more, so what is so what we made a new arrangement okay. to go into for a year. Every year we have to make a new arrangement with them. Why do you owe so much? Well, financial difficulties. Yeah, but I, I need to know more than that. I mean, so are you, are, you didn't pay sales taxes at all to the state for like two years? Uh, it wasn't two years. It was it was probably a year. What's your total liability to the state? Hundred. Twenty-five thousand. One hundred twenty-five thousand. Yeah. This will enable them to stay in business so they can pay the state of Maryland, the great state of Maryland, uh, the amounts of money that that are due them. Otherwise, you know, everybody has a case of the shorts you know, at this point. <laughs> now, I got, the board just doesn't understand why. You know, the building they probably put more than one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars into that building over the last two years, and yet they weren't able to put that in the state of Maryland's coffers. To us, it, it seems a little backwards. Yeah, That's I, why we don't, I don't own restaurants. Right. <laughs> All right. You may. I just want Inspector to Brooks. I'm just recently getting the district, so the licensee is new to me, but I did speak with Mr. Baldwin, who had the district before, and he said, you know, they had great licensees and normally had all their business in order, and he said they had a problem with them. So I just want to just speak No, we don't. Him. Thank you, and, and you're right. We we don't we don't see you here that often, so that's always a good sign. It's just uh, this is a this is a, a lot of money as far as the sales tax. Yeah, I understand. You see a few grand here and there, but this is a big one. So. Right. All right. Um, so, how do we want to deal with this? As you know, this is really a violation hearing rather than a conference. So, obviously, well, no, not nothing's obvious here. Are you going to admit that your client uh, indeed did not have a 2012 trader's license on May 1st? Of yeah, they did not have. Okay. And second, uh, you're admitting that your client, uh, your client's corporate charter was forfeited or about February 26, 2013. Correct, for failure. Okay. So they ran into this uh, arrangement here. All right. And based on you know, what we've seen here, the, the, and your admission plus the documents that we're reviewing, obviously we're going to find a client guilty. And it looks like most of this has already cured itself. You've bumped up your payment, $1,600 a month to you've entered into a payment plan, an amended payment plan with the state. What else do you want to say? Well, I mean, I think you'd indicate to me by the end of April you would have that all taken care of. Is that correct? Well, we should have all our licenses updated by then, yes. Yeah. April 30th. 
Mr. Lombardi, I want to go back to the yes, chairman's sir. point. What happened? Did business slow down? Did you have an unintended uh, repair to the building? What What was the breaking point for you? I don't you? want to make excuses, but we had a we had a bookkeeper that um, that we lost, and that was paying the, the bills for us. And it was when we lost her, all of a sudden, several months went by, and we mm -hmm. was something that we weren't doing. Mm -hmm. And there were penalties attached yeah, that's, to. Yeah, I mean, that, the money that I just told you, there's a lot of penalties on that. I okay. think it's, I think it's like 10 percent, hmm. and plus 1 percent a month or something. 13 percent a month. On well, the, no, 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 no. The, the, the state, initial the state the, charges 13 percent interest on on their back payments. Right. Oh, okay. And then it's like 1 percent per month, I think. Okay. Additionally, and every now, month we're late. You have you hired an outside uh, accounting firm, or you have an in yeah, new bookkeeper. Correct. Okay. And um, we entered this which agreement. Uh, which bookkeeper? Uh, no, no, no. Which one did you do? Outside firm, or you brought someone in? You have a new bookkeeper. Well, I'm doing it myself now. Okay. But we also have an outside firm, Kaiser and Kaiser and Towson, that's helping us with uh, our accounting. And have you taken any type of, you know, classes, QuickBooks? I so have. You, so yes, you feel I confident have. that you won't have this problem again? I'm definitely confident. Okay. Fair enough. Thank you. See, what I recommend, and if they go into bankruptcy, they change that 13 percent to 5 percent. Mm. But. They didn't want to do that. Mm. All right. Anything else? Okay. Go off the record. Let's go on the record. Decision phase, March 21st, 2013. Anthony Lombardi, Andrew Rosenthal, and John Carrier, TNA Incorporated, trading as Shuckers of Fells Point, 1629 Fame Street. Uh, Mr. Lombardi has appeared here today. Uh, they, we understand that um, there's significant taxes due to the state back taxes that are now being paid. Uh, we understand some mitigating circumstances regarding the change of a bookkeeper and a lapse in those payments. Uh, those payments are, you know, are, are, there is a payment plan. So the breach isn't completely cured now, but obviously the licensee is um, able to uh, go ahead and resurrect his corporate charter and to obtain the appropriate trader's license. So. Um, we do find uh, guilty uh, 4.18, uh, that is uh, allowing the commission of an act contrary to state law, in this case, not having a two, I'm sorry, city law, <laughs> city statute, as not having a 2012 trader's license. Um, and that is actually a violation of the business regulation article of the annotated code. So that is a state law violation. I find you guilty by a preponderance based on the admission and the evidence we've received. It's a $500 fine. Uh, additional or second 4.18 offense uh, for not having corporate charter uh, in good standing. as a violation of a state law. I find you guilty on that as well. It's a $500 fine. It's suspended. It's, it'll merge, actually. So it's a $500 fine, $125 hearing fee for $625. Uh, we'll also order the licensee to cure the um, lack of documents no later than April 30th, 2013, to wit a trader's license and a corporate uh, charter good standing certificate. So will the fine and the documents are due no later than April 30th? Yes. All right? Yes. Great. Thank yeah. you. Okay. We're off the record. All right. Thank you. Sure.